Morning, everyone. Today, I want to talk about disrupting an entire industry and what that means. Now, before you assume what the word disrupt means, in this sense, it means there's an existing framework of how everything's been done for years, and somebody or a company comes in the middle of it and completely blows open what everybody thought was possible and did ever, does everything different, requiring all of those around them to change the way they do things. That's how you disrupt an entire industry. And last night, I watched a presentation. For those of you that don't know, I'm a big fan of Corvettes. Uh, General Motors just launched their brand new Corvette. This isn't about Corvettes. This is about what they did. And what they did was they were going to disrupt the supercar market of vehicles that release between two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. Think about that. The average car is thirty thousand. Ten times that cost is the market of supercar cars. Now their current Corvette sells for fifty thousand, maybe twice that of an average car. What they did was they released a car that competes with the three hundred thousand dollar cars for only sixty thousand dollars. Hello. <laughs> That's how you disrupt an entire industry is that, and it's made in the United States, meaning you can get a car that's the same uh, quality racetrack value that is two to $300,000, 60,000. Now that could be argued, well, is it really the same quality, blah, 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 blah. That's not the point. In industry, in business, when you're building something, if you're only looking at what everybody else around you is doing, you're missing the entire point of what could be your leverage to go to the next level. Take a look at, how everybody's doing it and say, how could we do this differently? That way we become the trend setters and not the trend followers. And how is this done? Let's say for instance, that something has been done a certain way before there's a price is a big way to disrupt. If you can offer a higher quality product for a lower price than everybody else, it requires everybody to catch up and change their game. And this is one of the easiest ways to disrupt an industry. Uh, on the front end, you might lose money, but on the long term, it's a strategy that is proven over time to work by doing this. You know, let's say that most people in an industry are doing this for this price. If you go in and do the same thing or actually better, I think better is great for half the price or even for free, uh, which is kind of what I'm trying to do with my Grow Your Life stuff here. It is what I'm doing with my Grow Your Life stuff, my podcast, these videos, is you can help shift the culture of the people that both follow you and those that observe you themselves. If you're building a product, building an app, if you look at not just how everybody else has been doing it, but how can we set the trend? How can we do it so differently that people don't say, wow, that's weird. They say, wow. We need to be doing that and we need to follow. And I believe that so often people are so worried about just sustaining themselves, so worried about sustaining what they've already created, so worried about catching up and competing with all of those around them that they completely miss the mark of where the opportunities are of how can I solve a problem that's existing in this marketplace. One of the fastest ways to do this if you are um, – Launching something is to add convenience to an already existing industry. If you can make something more convenient for people, price is a form of convenience. You can then dominate that industry and go into it. And now you might look at that, well, I'm just selling network marketing products. Well, I'm just selling flooring or tiling. Well, I'm just selling CBD oil or I'm just selling courses. How can I disrupt that? By not doing what everybody else is doing and instead taking time to be creative, focusing on your mindset, cultivating creativity inside you, coming up with new ideas, new innovation, taking strategic time, not just in meetings, not just in strategy sessions, but where you don't do anything and you just sit back and say, what if, what could happen? And then you don't just keep it there. You write it down. You make a plan. How can we execute this? How can we make this happen? How can we bring it to the marketplace? You see, dreams without action 
go nowhere. I get that. But if you're only taking action and doing it to just play catch up, doing it to just do what everybody else is doing, you're missing the entire opportunity of what's out there for you. So I want to encourage you, whatever you're doing right now, take a look at it. Take a look at what everybody else is doing for only this purpose. How can I completely disrupt that market by either undercutting, over-serving, or offering something that nobody else is doing that makes it 10 times greater for everybody to work with me than my competitors? And if you do that, you can enter markets that are oversaturated and dominate. And that could just be customer service. That could just be coaching. That could just be you taking the time, caring about somebody else inside of you when nobody else is. And if you do that, you can disrupt the market that's oversaturated by so many people. And if you're somebody that's in network marketing, this is one of the best ways to do that is if you just take a little bit extra time, you actually care about the person. And then you actually you start to set up systems and things that, that work and are repeated. If you're selling a product, if you're manufacturing something, figure out how can I help serve somebody else's needs. You know, I was listening to Tim Bilyeu, he, he, uh, or Tom Bilyeu, I always call him Tim. Uh, he started Quest Nutrition. And they said, this can't be done. You can't do this because all the manufacturing hasn't been done this way for 50 years. It's designed for high fructose corn syrup. And, he, and so what he did was he created brand new machines to create their Quest Bar and it disrupted the entire nutritional and energy bar business by doing that. They said it wasn't possible. He looked at, well, why is it not possible? Well, because this. Okay, how can we solve this? And then we can go in and disrupt. And if you look at that, if you take a look at what you're doing right now, you can look at everything that's going on in the marketplace and then see the blind spots, see where nobody else is looking. And this is where you can disrupt an entire industry the way General Motors did last night when they launched their C8 Corvette supercar that they've been calling it, the C8 Corvette supercar. Mid-engine, competes with the Lamborghini, the Ferraris, two $300,000 cars, and they launched it for only $60,000. That's a big scale, but what if somebody in your industry is normally doing something for three to four hundred dollars and you launch it for fifty to sixty dollars? What would that do? Or normally thirty dollars and you do it for five to ten. That disrupts and in volume, then it scales. We'll talk soon, everybody. Grow your life. Have a good one.